Hey guys, it's Miss Computer Teacher again. This video is an on demand or on request video and is dedicated to Miss Kirsty. Kirsty, thank you very much for reminding me that I needed to do this video. It is a follow up to the video titled How to Get Free PowerPoint Templates and Sound by Miss Computer Teacher. So Kirsty came to me and she said, But I downloaded a bunch of templates according to your video, and then how do I get them in PowerPoint if I wasn't ready to get them when I first downloaded them? And that is an excellent question. And like I said, thank you, Kirsty, for bringing that to my attention. So uh, Kirsty, like I said, she downloaded uh, templates like the one that you see in front of you now. This is one of the abstract or artist backgrounds from uh, BrainyBetty.com. And I downloaded it, and then I went to File, open and it wasn't where I put it originally now here it is right here it's called artist 6 but when I first did this it was not there um, there's actually one called animated baseball players that I've downloaded and if you look it is right here animated baseball player background but when I was in PowerPoint if I wanted to open it from my desktop it's not a choice. So how do I get it? Hmm. Good question. If you notice, there's a little zipper right here. That's telling us that the file is compressed or zipped, as you see from the hovering over I'm doing with the mouse right now. And basically, that's just done because the file is a little bit large and it helps to keep it smaller and take up less space. Uh, when you download it, downloads a little faster when it's zipped like this. So we need to extract, extract or get out uh, what's inside the zipped up folder. So I'm right clicking with my mouse and I'm going to choose extract all. Sure, click extract. And there it is, animated baseball player background. So this time, and you can see it's right here as well. And the one that uh, is up here, the artist six, you can see from that zipped file, and that's the extracted file. All right, so now when I'm in PowerPoint, let's say I want to do file new, blank presentation, sure, choose create. I'm going to open the animated baseball player, and there it is. So I didn't have it before, but now I do have it because I extracted or unzipped that file and let's just see what this looks like I'm going to enable editing and choose slideshow from current slide pretty cool so Kirsty, that's how you do it thanks guys